From NBA superstardom to waving a gun at a defenseless teenager, John Morant may be the only player in the NBA trying to make it out of the NBA. But why would such a gifted and talented player work so hard to throw away their career? Today we're diving into the story of Ja Big Crit Morant. Born in Dalzell, South Carolina, Ja Morant was a suburban kid with large shoes to fill. His father played alongside Ray Allen in high school and his mother played high school ball as well as a point guard. With these kind of baller parents, Morant was destined for the sports world. Morant spent a lot of his early childhood playing ball, especially versus older opponents who he said he wasn't worried about despite their size and age difference. With help in training early on from his father, Morant eventually joined the amateur athletic union circuit with the South Carolina Hornets out of Columbia, South Carolina. During one season, Morant was actually teammates with another eventual NBA superstar, Zion Williamson. Within three years of attendance at Crestwood High School, Morant's height would grow from 5'9 to 6 foot leaving the school as the all-time scorer with a career high of 47 points. Since joining the NBA, Morant has broken records on the court with incredible shots, blockbuster matchups, and technical fouls, holding seven in the 2022-2023 season, tying, leaving him fourth behind the likes of Dylan Brooks. Now I know what you're wondering. Where's the gangster lifestyle that Morant reps on and off the court? Since Morant's entrance into the public eye in the NBA bubble, his record-breaking behavior on the court has been accompanied with controversial alleged gang affiliation off the court. Although Morant has deep ties and new roots to South Carolina and Memphis respectively, some of the hand signs flashed by Morant on and off the court have routinely been questioned, often receiving explanations like the M stands for Memphis or you just wouldn't get it. However, in a sport with a heavy focus on the personalities and personal life behind star players, most players make it a point of explaining any and all heavily scrutinized actions, especially through press conferences and interviews. In Morant's case, Twitter has been his primary outlet. And Morant only speaks on things he deems important. And public opinion doesn't seem to be on his list of concerns. But things get far worse than alleged gang signs. In January of 2023, the Grizzlies were up against the Pacers with John Morant's father in attendance. It's alleged that Morant's father got into a verbal altercation during the game with some of the Pacers players, escalating further into an aggressive confrontation post-game, which seems pretty standard for intense sports games. With high emotions and a love for the sport, there's always room for disagreements. But with Morant... Trouble seems to always accompany the hot-headed star. It's alleged that some of Morant's friends screamed expletives at multiple Pacers players, and that Morant eventually joined his friends in an SUV that made its way towards the Pacers bus, turned and slowed, and waved a red laser at multiple players. Interpret this how you will, but it left many Pacers players feeling like they were in grave danger. The incident has since launched an investigation by the league to look into allegations made by the Pacers, and if it were any other player, the allegations would seem more than outlandish. The investigation eventually revealed that the league was unable to corroborate that any individual threatened others with a weapon. It didn't clear Morant of the accusation that a red beam was in fact flashed, and anybody within the community and culture surrounding the meaning behind red beams and automatic weapons could easily understand the implication behind this action. To make matters worse, Morant actually gets into a dispute involving a weapon not even two months later. Let's take things a modern day. It's March 1st, 2023, and Morant has yet again been involved in another controversy off the court putting his career under the spotlight again and potentially in jeopardy. With an article posted by the Washington Post, it's alleged that over the summer of 2022, Morant allegedly hit a teenager 12 to 13 times, with the teen's identity left anonymous as they were legally a minor at the time. It's said that the teenager was guarding Morant and at one point Morant and the teen exchanged hard passes, with the ball hitting Morant in the face causing the altercation to break out. After allegedly assaulting the teen, Morant then allegedly brandished a gun on his waistband with his hand on it facing the teenager as the teen fled the scene of their vehicle and then drove away. Morant claimed the entire incident was in self-defense upon arrival of the local police department, resulting in him receiving no charge. Another close call resulting in a clean recording for the NBA star, but to make matters even worse, this incident doesn't even mark Morant's first encounter with authoritative figures off the court. It's said over the same summer that Morant's mother got into an argument with a store employee at a local mall, something that is commonplace with anybody who's ever shopped in retail ever. Frustrating experiences led to often justifiable reactions, but what can't be justified is Morant appearing on the scene with an alleged nine other people uninvolved with the altercation. When confronted by the director of mall security, Morant and group alleged refused to adhere to the demands made to leave the mall parking lot and things escalated to a verbal confrontation that eventually led to someone within Morant's party shoving the guard in the head. Not Morant's fault directly, right? Sure, the only problem being that Morant's on record for having said, let me find out what time he gets off, in the official police report that yet again resulted in no arrest on Morant's behalf. Whether or not Morant has been arrested doesn't change the fact that he's playing with fire and painting himself to be a gangster. 
intentional or not. It can be argued that the Grizzlies are a naturally aggressive team, and with Morant being the franchise player for the Grizzlies, perhaps he's simply playing out a character to draw more attention in jersey sales. But is this the way to do it? Morant's attorneys have dismissed all accusations of recent events as unsustainable gossip. But with so many stories from so many different accounts consistently involving Morant as a tag-along participant, you would think the star would get the memo and change the narrative somehow or make an effort to hang around a different group of friends. But in the case of Morant, trouble seems to follow anywhere he goes, including social media. Twitter fingers have gotten numerous people, celebrity status and civilian alike, in drama and beef since its inception. From Chief Keefe and Katy Perry to regular Joes, the public platform has become a meeting place for viewers to spectate the lives of others at their fingertips. A tool Morant is used often to incite drama on the court. The sport of basketball is a naturally physical one with an unspoken rule that intentionally injuring other players is beyond unacceptable socially. In a blowout loss to the Warriors, Morant limped out of the game with a potentially serious injury to his knee during a trap near half court. Jordan Poole appeared to grab and swat at Morant's knee during the game. Morant, however, after leaving the game, took to Twitter to post in a now-deleted tweet that Poole had broke the code, with fans of both Morant and Poole quickly taking to the replies to express their disappointment in Morant's comment, claiming that Poole clearly wasn't solely responsible for the injury and that the play was nowhere near as dirty as justifying the public post an implication that Poole had done something intentionally wrong. The mixed pattern of recent aggressive behavior with no PR representation is leading the narrative that John Moran is trying to be a gangster, with influential figures like Shannon Sharp even chiming in about Ja's actions and behavior. Uh, ja was traveling down a road he didn't need to be on. And I'm sh I, I don't want to say I'm the only one because I believe people have tried to reach out to Ja. But Skip, when you're young and you have a lot of money, you feel, first of all, when you're young, you feel you're invincible. Now just imagine you're young and you have a $200 million contract from the Grizzlies, you have a signature shoe from Nike, and you're one of the major faces of Poway. Now you really think you are invincible. The truth is, John Morant doesn't have a gangster past. But if he keeps going down the road he's on, he may develop a gangster future and lose much of what he's built up, continuing to associate with those who don't have his best interests or public view in mind. If you like learning more about the drama around your favorite players, subscribe and click the bell for notifications.